Yes, I got to swim one time outside of a cage with a great white and I'll tell you a little bit about how that was. Firstly, I have to mention that we are trained professional shark divers, meaning that we dive with sharks for a living and we have a lot of experience, so please don't attempt this. In 2019, a group of us came upon a dead whale far offshore in Hawaii. We were definitely expecting to see some sharks, but little did we know that this beautiful lady would show up. I remember just being on the boat, looking over and seeing a very large shark with a pointed nose eating the whale and being like, guys, there is a huge shark eating the whale. <laughs> We slid in to take a look and there was this huge great white, probably somewhere around 20 feet and super, super chunky. Now, I had never swam with a great white or even seen a great white before this, but pretty soon after sliding in the water, I realized that this was a very, very mellow animal and it wasn't scary at all. This is a really, really unique situation for a great white and not something to expect from great whites in general. This great white was probably pregnant and really full on whale, probably feeding all night. So it didn't seem like she was a desperate animal and she was just very, very chill, very slow moving as her size and girth were so large. There were actually even dolphins there, rough toothed dolphins that were rubbing on her nose and swimming with her just like they would do with a large whale. So none of us felt threatened by her at all. She was pretty much focused on one thing and that was eating the whale. Just this last year, I got to visit New Zealand where we got to swim with great whites while inside the cage. And we were totally cool with being inside of the cage. These guys were more slim, agile, potentially younger sharks. The way that they would hunt, like breaching out of the water, they were definitely more athletic. That does not necessarily mean that a younger, more spunky great white is going to hunt you if you are near it. As you can see, this creator in California takes photos of people swimming, surfing, paddleboarding near great whites all the time. When we go into the ocean, we definitely take a risk being in their home, in their environment, they could be around us and are around us daily. Great whites are ginormous, capable, top apex predators in the wild open ocean and they should be given all the respect for their size and capability. So I don't recommend that anyone go and purposely try to swim with a great white, especially if you don't have a lot of shark experience. In fact, there is no tour operator in the world that is going to take you outside of the cage with a great white because of their size and capabilities, but there are amazing places around the world where you can get to see a great white from within the cage, like New Zealand, South Australia, South Africa, to name a few. Swimming with any type of shark should be taken seriously and you should always go with someone that knows how to read the behavior of the animal so that if it's not a good time to be in the water with the shark, you guys can exit the water. Overall, this day was one of the best days of my life. I know it's a very unique situation and a very unique shark. Something like this may never happen to me again, but I'm so grateful that I got to experience it. They are absolutely magnificent and beautiful animals.